Did this ever happen to you in childhood? You'd be out on a long family walk and you'd feel suddenly very, very hungry and or thirsty and parents say, we have nothing for you, just don't think about it. Just don't, to tell a child not to think about their feelings of hunger or thirst is a very, very tough challenge. We cannot help ourselves thinking about things. The thing is, that's because we're limited, isn't it? Human beings are limited. We cannot often control what things we do and don't think about. But God can control his own thoughts. He can decide what things he calls to mind. And he can also decide what things he's going to forget about. Bizarre though it may seem to think of God forgetting anything at all. Uh, as we think about God's memory this week, we read a passage where we find something that God's decided not to remember. It's from Genesis, as uh, from uh, Jeremiah's prophecy, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31. This is the covenant that I will make with the people of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will they teach their neighbour or say to one another, Know the Lord, because they will all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. Interesting, isn't it? God says, here is my intention, here's my plan. God says there's going to be a time when humans, human beings, my people, will have such a good relationship with me that uh, they won't need to tell each other how to be my friends. They'll all know me. And he says, as part of that relationship, I'm going to forget about their sins. Now, as we've seen before, God is not limited. Therefore, when he forgets about something, it's not like I forget something. I often forget the things that are really, really important. God forgets the things that he decides he will not regard as important. And he says, I'm going to remember their sins no more. It's a great blessing, isn't it? You see, if God kept a record of our sins, we could not possibly have any kind of friendship with him. Every sin that we commit is an offence against God. He's the one who commands us to love him perfectly and to love our neighbour as ourselves. And every time we let him down on one of those things, we're saying to him, my will is more important than your commands. And God says, those sins, I've decided not to remember them. I've made a deliberate decision, says God that I'm not going to think about your sins. Because if I thought about them, it would spoil the relationship. And I don't want the relationship to be spoiled. Have you ever wondered how we could possibly live happily with God in heaven? How God could accept any of us to sit alongside him in heaven, knowing the terrible sins that we've committed against him during our lifetime? The reason it's possible is because God has a very, very strong will. God can decide to blot out selectively things that have happened in the past, to say, I'm going to regard that as if it had never, ever happened at all. That, of course, is uh, the way that he accepts us uh, in Jesus. We talk about the fact that when Jesus died on the cross, he took all my sins onto himself and gave me his perfect life in return. And therefore, when God looks at me, it is just as if I'd never sinned. God knows I've sinned, but he's decided. He says, I'm not going to be deflected from my decision to see you, Andrew McClellan, as a forgiven sinner, as someone who's led, uh, led a perfect life. It's true of the way God looks at me now. It's true of the way he looks at me when I'm in heaven. God has decided. And therefore, if he's decided it, that's how it is. That's how merciful he is. That's how much he invests in his relationship with us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that uh, you tell us in the, the scriptures that you have decided not to uh, call our sins to mind. You've decided to forget them. Uh, you remember your mercy. You don't remember our sins. And we thank you that you do that because of your amazing love for us, where you want to think of only the good things about us so that we can enjoy being your friends forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We've got one more of these thoughts for the day this week. Hope you can join me tomorrow. God bless you.